road That's where I'll always be Every stop I make I make a new friend Can't stay for long Just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me Maybe he's lost or something. He doesn't look very lost to me. You know, on the other hand, maybe he's got more sense than we do. Could be. Let's get out of sight. Thanks, friend. Right now, we need one. I never thought it would be the four-legged variety, but uh, on behalf of the two most wanted people in town, I... what I'm seeing.
you sure you want these? Sophie shortcakes are just as good, and they're on special today. Of course, I went to a circus once when I was a kid. They had a dog act that jumped through flaming hoops. But this, I have never encountered. Ah, good, you found them. Right, that'll be six seventy-five. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, five, six, seven. All right. Have a good day. Tomorrow it'll be a polar bear with a credit card. And now we go over to City Hall where Mick Jefferson is speaking to the mayor himself. No, no, I will not let my son marry the Conrad girl. Could anyone let their son marry a Conrad? But Mr. Mayor, isn't it true that you and Mrs. Penelope Conrad were once sweethearts? Now listen, son, you go around making irresponsible statements like that and I can find a place for you in the city jail. Earlier today, I spoke with Mrs. Penelope Conrad at Conrad Manor on the west side of town. I'd much rather my daughter become a cocktail waitress than a Montgomery. And if the mayor's son does not leave her alone, I'm going to take after him with a shotgun. But isn't it true that you and his honor... If you even suggest that I've ever had anything but contempt for Mayor Montgomery, I'll take after you with a shotgun, too. This is Mick Jefferson from Mrs. Penelope Conrad's Country Cottage. <laughs> She's got no right to do this to us. I mean, we're old enough to get married, aren't we? And we're certainly not breaking the law. Right doesn't come into it, Penny. It's money that counts. And between your mother and my father, they have enough of it to buy anything they want. And what they want right now is that we do not get married. Gee, there's got to be some way we can beat them. I mean, we've got the license. And I've got the ring. All we need is... Wait a minute. Who's the one person who can't turn us in for the reward money? Yes? We want to get married. Of course you would. They're here! You come with us peaceful? Or otherwise, what's it going to be, fella? Good afternoon, Miss Penny. Nice to have you home again. Mm, I wish I could say the same, Bellows. Lost just to how are you, sir. Have I better days? Thank you. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Madam will see you in the drawing room. And now, gentlemen, if you'd take up your positions outside the house. <laughs> Miss Penelope, madam, and Master Chester Montgomery, Jr. Mother, how could you? How dare you? That will be all better. Mother, I can't believe you. You know, you have no right to do this to me. I'm old enough to run my own life, and I'm certainly old enough to get married. You know, you made me feel like a bloody criminal, hired a detective to get after me. I mean, come on. What did I do so terribly wrong? I really have not right to do this to me. I have never been so humiliated in all my life. That will be quite enough, young lady. Not only have you inherited your father's Latin looks, but also the unfortunate Latin lack of self-discipline. You may go to your room. Well, I'm not finished. Oh, I beg your pardon, Penelope, but you most certainly are. Go to your room. Stand right where you are, young man. Bellows, please dismiss the rest of the servants and take the rest of the day off yourself. Yes, madam. Thank you very much, madam. I hate to air domestic unpleasantness in front of the servants. And I suspect that Penelope and I are in for a great deal of unpleasantness until this matter is settled. 
We're going to be married. <laughs> my dear young man, that is unthinkable. Now get out of my house and out of Penelope's life. I'll get out of your house. But you haven't seen the last of me. Hey. Hey, friend. How did you get here? Huh? Come on, will you? I want to leave. I don't want to leave. Not without Penny. I changed my mind. You mean you will stay out of Penelope's life? I mean, I'm not going to leave your house. I beg your pardon. Not without Penelope. What is this? This is what you call a sit-in.